Hey YouTubers, it's Cindy. I am just leaving my house and I have a confession to make. I uh, just finished a video, a live stream video, and I was putting my makeup on. And during that time, I said I was going to hang, I was going to hang up, I was going to get off the phone, uh, hang up from my video, and uh, I was going to put my new La Vivid wig on. Well, I ended up getting um, dry my hair, and I, I really liked the way my hair looked after I dried it, so I didn't want to ruin my fresh blow dry by putting on the wig. It's a new Carrie wig, a different color. And so I thought, well, I'm, I'm not going to do that. So that's my confession. So here I am in my car on my way to the grocery store. Like I said, I was going to do this guy behind me. I'm going to move over and let him go because he's on my butt. And um, so you can tell I still have the same makeup on. I've got the pink lipstick on. And uh, you can still see my beautiful mountains. Maybe you can. It is uh, 4.13, so it's kind of the afternoon. And once our sun goes behind this big mountain range, it really cools down. So, all right, now, I'm on my way to the store, and, and I have to stop saying, okay, now, all right, now. I know. <laughs> I noticed that when all my videos and I'm starting to do it more and more so I have to I have to really watch myself and not say that before I get to the grocery store which is only a few minutes away um, I wanted to say again that I'm going to I just got a new pair of shoes in the mail today that I ordered a pair of sandals and they're really cute they just arrived I opened them and so I want to take, I want to give you a picture of the sandals that I, that arrived today. Um, my, my kitten heels that I'm on the uh, hunt to purchase, pointy toe kitten heel pumps. And um, there's that dip. Um, and then I want to let you know that there's this little um, hamburger joint. It's called Smokin' Burger. And it's right next door to my, a couple doors down from the, from my grocery store. And so, if, if it works out, I, I like to go to Smokin' Burger and get, a, they've got the best veggie burgers. Okay, I hope you can see these mountains over here. The best veggie burgers ever. And, um, and so I want to. I want to go there and get a veggie burger so I won't go to the store famished because you know what that's like. You go to the store, you go to, the, I've got my window down and um, I'm going to go down a different street so maybe your view might be a little bit differently and we'll pat, we're going to be passing Barry Manilow's house. He lives right up here in this mountaintop up here. You can't see his house. Well, I might be able to, but you you can't. But I told you I went to his house for a party one time. He hosted, um, uh, oh gosh, what's it called? Um, you know that sign? It's an equal sign. It's a yellow equal sign. Human rights. He, he hosted a human rights party. I think that's what it is. And because um, you know how you can have the the Jesus sign as a bumper sticker, the little fish, or he, that's his, no, that's not his gate. Um, well, you, you can have, it's like a blue square with the yellow equal. I think that means human rights or something. Anyway, he hosted a party and I was invited to that party because I used to teach with his cousin. And so she invited me to the party. And, and I'll tell you, um, these were the celebrities that were there. The girl from the nanny, Fran Drescher, was there. She looks beautiful, just like she does on the, on the nanny. That's his street. And he lives right up there. And um, Fran Drescher was there. And um, 
Lorna Minnelli, Liza Minnelli's sister was there, she sang. And um, who else was there? I, there? I don't remember, it's been a long time ago, but his house was gorgeous. He's got, we didn't go in his actual house because he owns like a compound. So, you know, there were guest homes on the compound where some of the kitchen people were working and bringing food out from. And then they were the tray things like this. And then they had outdoor bar areas set up. But um, his partner, Gary, I met Gary. And um, so anyway, it was kind of, it was kind of thrilling to, you know, to be there. I wish I had seen him and I wish he had sung for us, but no such luck. Then, um, some more dog walkers. Big truck. And, um, so, okay, I wanna, I wanna show you my shoes. Take pictures of them. And I do have some other fun celebrity stories parties that I've been to um, just to set the stage because I'm almost at my destination there was there were when I was in my 40s my husband's best buddy best friend was um, very philanthropic and so he would invite us to some of his parties that he was invited to because he had been philanthropic with that particular organization and then the other side of that coin is, when I was first married, I to get extra money from teach, being a teacher, I worked as a caterer. Um, there was um, one of the moms of one of my students worked for a caterer and they needed help and she asked if I would be interested. And I said, yes. So I catered at um, President Ford's house. So I met President Ford and Mrs. Ford and it was a big Republican thing. And uh, later, I was at a later I was at a party with them, and so and it was real fun. I'll tell you guys about it. So okay, I'm at my destination. I'm going to park and uh, grab a burger and go to the grocery store. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. These are my. This is a pair of black kitten heels. They're great. This pair is from Nordstrom's. The heel was too high and they're uncomfortable. Don't you love these Unisa sandals? How cute are they? These are the Luna Rosa red kitten heels I had to have. Here's another picture of the same brand. I did not buy these, but you can see the style. And here's another picture of sort of a pink and lavender pair. I bought these blue shoes at Target and I wear them like slippers. And these are the Stuart Weitzman shoes, the little kitten heels that I love. And these shoes are very familiar to many of you and um, I think they're priceless. <laughs> this is a medallion that I bought to, be, to have put on this beautiful beaded necklace that I got from my mother-in-law and the necklace itself is quite long but I, I never really wore the necklace but I thought if I had this medallion it would really jazz it up so I'm excited to take it to a jeweler and have it connected to this stainless or this sterling silver beaded uh, necklace. I bought this little vase at a, at a consignment store Here's the church bathroom that I redid, and I'm just taking pictures. This is from one of the bathrooms, the little hearts, the little flowers from Home Goods that give it a spot of color. Look at these adorable feminine pictures. So dang cute. And that's sort of the look that I created around the mirror and the sink area. And then I bought this little side table. Look how cute with the Kleenex and then the little aroma spray. And then that's the ballerina painting I bought to go on top. And then the 
and this is the other bathroom. And so a little bench we can put our purses on and then another little pink table that we can kind of stand there and put our lipstick on. Isn't that pretty? I just think it's shiny and feminine. That's sort of an, another look from the same bathroom, a different angle, I should say. And then on the wall here, oh, the pretty little heart-shaped bowl. I put some Kleenex in and some lavender spray. I just think it's so pretty and feminine. And like I said, we could stand there and actually put our lipstick on in front of that mirror. And then I'll have little eye... Oh, this is... Um, a Bible verse that we are going to have on the wall. Now it has to sit for a while and then I'll peel off that white paper and then the just the words will be on the wall. 